Let's just get right into it. All right, Magic the Gathering. Welcome back. I'm Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming, by the way, for those of you new. And if you're not subscribed, by all means, go ahead. We like to keep up on latest and greatest, and we have a lot of fun over here on the channel with deck techs and all types of stuff. All right, cool. Skadoosh for all my loyal guys and gals. Let's do this. Magic the Gathering has released. We've unveiled Ultimate Masters. Learn all about this set and the Ultimate Box Toppers contained in each sealed booster box. Oh, and it's coming December 7th. Great. Uh, get ready. That's crazy. Um, this this is this was announced, and within a month and a half, this product's going to be made available. Not even about a month away. This product's coming out, and the spoilers are coming out. They're right around the corner. Um, this is this is ridiculous. If you guys want to be on my Twitter, just go ahead and uh, sign up. Description every video, you'll see it. So here's what they got here: Ultimate Masters releases December seventh, and will be the last masters product for a while they are coming out straight with us telling us it's gonna be the last masters product for some time each booster box will contain 24 packs very similar to the other uh to our past masters products eternal masters masters originals 2013 2015 masters 2017 iconic and 25 so pretty interesting there msrp is $335, $76 per box, $13.99 a pack. This sucker's going to be huge, guys. We're going to go over every single card that's going to be in the set, and we will find out if the buy a box promos are also going to be in the normal set. We're going to see, we're going to find out everything right now. Um, boxes are only available at local gaming stores, but each comes with an ultimate box top or buy a box promo, which is a near borderless foil promo. Those are the ones you've been seeing in the videos that I posted over the last couple days. There are 40 box toppers in total. Wow. Talk about like an ultimate masters kind of collection set. That's That would be pretty cool to complete. I'm sure a lot of collectors are going to go uh, balls to the wall for that one. Ultimate Masters packs will be available at big box stores for $34.99 for three packs. Uh, we've seen that before with um, the un Unstable set, Iconic Masters, Masters 25. They've done the same thing. Um, Ultimate Masters is printed in English and Japanese languages, but available worldwide. I know about 40% of my audience is overseas or out of uh, the United States. I think it's 45%. Um, yeah, that's my analytics for those of you. Uh, for you stat geeks out there, now you know. 45% uh, of my, um, my, my fans, my, 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 the, the loyal people that watch me, they're overseas. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Uh, Ultimate Masters um, spoilers are going to be on November 19th and 20th with the full set reveal on November 21st. Hooray. So this is coming pretty quick. That's less than two weeks to prepare uh, if you're not seeing high... Okay, whatever. So here's what we know so far. So Ancient Tomb, Ancient Tomb. It's going to be reprinted and there's going to be like a master. So this is like the masterpiece for the card. Man, the, this is so beautiful. And uh, this is the basic one here. Here's ba Bale Fire Dragon. It's like... let's. I'm going to call it full art. It's not technically full art, but we're going to say full art for... Uh, just for sake of the video. The Balefire Dragon Normal. It looks like we have a lot of pre-release information already. So the, the, from what I'm from what I'm gathering, Magic the Gathering, this is going to be in the normal set. Because why, why not? Um, if we have an image already of it without the exterior. So there's going to be like an upgraded version of it. Is that every card is the question. We're going to find out together. And thank you MTG Goldfish. Um, I just quickly grabbed this from uh, their site. Bitter Blossom. Also, you could went to Wizards of the Coast and then it there too. Bitter Blossom. Really cool card with the extended. And then we have Cavern of Souls. So far, it's looking like you get the uh, the bo the box pro the box top promo. Buy a box topper. Whatever. We have fun, huh? You get the promo version in the buy a box. That's limited. So essentially, these are going to be like masterpieces. Uh, they're probably going to go for quite a bit more than the Cavern of Souls. I believe these are going to be foiled out as well. I don't see a reason why they would not be. Um, Cavern of Souls, uh, the, the normal version here, Celestial Colonnade. Really neat how they did this extended art. If you notice, a lot of artists out there will do extended art 
<coughs> and recreate these cards. And they sell on eBay. Just last night, I was looking at a, I think it was Karn, the, the, um, the most recent Karn we had. And right now, he's only selling for about $20 to $21 on eBay, near mint condition. Yes, I know other places are telling you $25 to $28. That's just not the case. It depends where you shop. Ebates, eBay, description, plugging it. There you go. Check it out. Um, you save a lot of money on eBay buying magic cards. It's ridiculous. Celestial Colonnade. But you can't be buying this crap on eBay. you got to get your butts in a store, man. LGS all the way. Celestial Colonnade, full art. I've seen these selling for like 20 bucks. the Karn, okay? But then someone did the extended art on it, like, you know, like a, an artist. You know, let's say I have a friend. He's an artist. Well, he just decided to do an altar on it. And that card now is like 30 uh, to 50 it was selling for. Ridiculous. I know. So a, a little bit of art and time, um, and people were willing to pay a lot more for these. So I think Wizards got hip to that because they saw like a secondary market that's actually doing these extended arts. Um, and they're like, well, why don't we do that? And I think that's what they're doing here. Uh, Celestial Colony, the normal. And then here's Creeping Tar Pit. That's one we didn't see revealed yet. Creeping Tar Pit's normal. Pretty neat. Dark Depths. Um, I'm not just going to sit here and just cover all the cards. Let's talk about some stuff, though, as well while we're doing this. And I'll also be able to show you guys what the uh, the box looks like itself. Um, are you are you happy with this? You think this is a good idea? Basically, what they're doing is reprinting a lot of the the high end cards currently in modern. Now, demonic tutor, no, of course. Dark depths is banned. It's probably going to make its comeback though. I'd love to see demonic tutor enter modern. Okay, that's not going to happen. Don't get your hopes up, guys. But it's a possibility, is what I'm saying here. No, it's really not a possibility either, Jim. It's just not going to happen. Um, anything can happen in Magic. It's 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 all over. But uh, three hundred thirty nine bucks is that reasonable? From what I'm seeing right now, and the cards they're going to be including in this set, uh yeah, yeah, pal. Um, this is uh this is a reasonable asking price. Now, I know not everyone can afford these cards. That's just how the world works. When I was a little kid, there was no way in heck I could go and afford these cards. And I, I didn't didn't matter how many sh uh, driveways I would shovel in the winter to earn extra money. Or, or how many lawns I would cut, you know, uh, grasses, you know, how much, how many, um, how many times I'd use a lawnmower. I couldn't save up enough money to buy a box like this, but I would be able to get my hands on a few packs. Um, so if there's a will, there's a way, guys. If you're a younger kid, you want to get your hands on these, start doing some extra work around the house. Ask your parents, you know. There's always, there's always a possible. There's always a way, man. Um, and if you're working on the street corners, you know, uh, you're a little older. A little more experienced, you know, you might want to, you know, keep that red light on another day or two because these things are not going to be cheap. Uh, just really cool artwork on a lot of this. I'm surprised they reprinted Caracas again. I think this is, uh, in my opinion, this will be the last time we see Caracas printed in a set. Absolute last time. Karn, that's the only time we're ever going to see him printed in another set. This is it. I mean, I'm telling you, this, you're not going to see, we're not, a lot of these cards, I don't believe. Uh, the mythics at least we will ever see printed again if they are reprinted again they're going to be it's going to be a very long time before they do reprint them again all these cards are staples in the format or are just staples overall they're all very known very sought after very expensive cards for the most part and uh they're all getting a reprint this is the first time this card's ever seen a reprint and it, it's a great card it only came out in conspiracy i believe it was conspiracy one so there's that. Life from the Lump. This, is, are they saying this card's already going for 328 bucks? Probably. I would imagine maybe the full version of it. Or that could be just the MSRP on the whole box. But this, this is really, really neat. A very unique product. Expensive as all get out. Some of these prices will drop a bit. Like Liliana the Veil, right now I think it's selling for about $100. It, it's going to drop to probably like 70 upon this release. I mean, it's not going to be a huge impact but it is going to make these cards more affordable and i believe that is one thing a lot of us have have wanted we want these cards to be more affordable from a collector standpoint you guys know if it's not on the reserve list it, it's it's in jeopardy of being reprinted at any point and uh that's just that's just the way it is the way the cookie crumbles mana vault i did not see that one coming Aren't there masterpieces of Mana Vault? If I'm if I'm if I'm not mistaken, I think I even pulled I pulled the Mana Crypt. It was Mana Crypt, not Mana Vault. 
But that's insane to see a Mana Vault reprinted. I mean, those things are not cheap, and that goes way back um, to, I think, 94 um, when, when Mana Vault was first printed. That's some old stuff. Unhoud's a little more recent, but never saw a reprint. Finally is. That card's at, like, 30 right now. It's going to it's amazing. Noble Hierarch has seen a couple reprints, I believe. Maybe two. Maybe one. I can't recall. Two, I think. Uh, Noble Hierarch is another great card. All staples. Who's going to buy this? Who Who's going to go out and purchase this? Uh, I, I will. I'm, I mean, I have a YouTube channel, but that, that's the main reason I would go out and buy this. But just from a buyer's standpoint, I would go out and purchase this. Um, I'm a diehard Magic the Gathering uh, fan I, I, I player. I know you guys, uh, the majority of our view are as well. Otherwise, I don't know why you're watching this video 10 minutes in already um, about Magic the Gathering cards. But but um, I, I would purchase this um, I, I'm I, regardless if I had the channel or not. Before I had the channel, I was purchasing Eternal Masters boxes and stuff. I had a Kaladesh box here. I, mean, I, was, I was still purchasing stuff, you know. It doesn't just go away overnight. Um, Reanimate, I can't. That's another one they're reprinting. I couldn't believe it. Um, we got the old Snappy. Snappy's coming back, baby. That full art looks amazing. They did a really good job on these cards. So it looks like every single card that's in this master set that I that we spoiled with. Uh, we're calling it full art. Remember, it's extended art, really. But they are all being reprinted in the base master set as mythics the majority are mythics got some rares here too this is uh this is really crazy um a lot of these cards again not cheap man uh Ulamog, the infinite guy i think is at 30 right now urborg tomb of yogmith uh is about 15 foil versions or maybe 20 foil versions like 35 unbelievable there's veg veggie vine um, so that's that's the entirety of what we know at this point in time. Um, here's Wizards, their official announcement right here. MSRP, $335.76. $34.99 per three-pack blister pack. Ultimate Masters will be available on Magic Online December 7th for $6.99 per pack. Why you would want to purchase that, I don't know. Let's start with the big news. Um, we're shelving the Master Series for the foreseeable future. So they are going to continue to print these. We are instead focusing on other products that will also include reprints. We'll talk about more uh, about those when the time comes, but we're sending off Masters product line for the time being with the premium take on the Masters series, Ultimate Masters. Now, on to that box topper, or should I say those top box, yeah, uh, box toppers, all 40 of them. Every box will come with a sealed pack containing a single box topper sealed inside the box. The pack will look a little something like this. Pretty cool. And uh, open it up, and you'll get one of 40 different cards. You can check this out below. This set of 40 box topper cards ex includes extended art versions of the same magic most popular cards included in every mythic rare is in the set. Many of the rare cards and two uncommons, Kitchen Finks and Eternal Witness, they are among the most beloved in the magic's history. Wow. I think they really nailed this product. They really did. Because we're releasing this product in just one month, we're showing you every box topper right here. You can see all of them at the bottom of the page along with the regular set counterpart. There is the actual um, Ultimate Masters uh, image right there. Bada bing. Hello, thumbnail image. Finally, yes, we want to acknowledge that Ultimate Masters has an MSRP higher than previous Masters products. We're setting the Masters series off in this style. I get it. You guys wanted really good cards printed in a set. Guess what? You're going to have to pay for it. That's just how it is. You want something nice and shiny. You want something expensive. You want the really good stuff. Guys, these cards aren't cheap. That's just how it is. The market's made it that way. A lot of you guys have made it this way where these cards are just not cheap. They're heavily played. They get see a lot of use. A lot of people want them in their collections. They're worth more. So I understand why the MSRP is higher. If, it, if the MSRP was not set that high, you know what would happen? Everyone would have a field day on the black market and the price would even jump at more. You wouldn't be able to find these. If they, they would be sold out, someone would come into an LGS and purchase up. If they were like, let's drop it for $210. Someone would come in and just buy up everything in the store instantly like that. And then go and resell it on the black market or like on your eBay or wherever, you know. It's just not fair to do that. 
Um, Ultimate Masters is a limited print run, premium set that is unique and collectible. We understand that it might not be for everyone, and that's okay. If you're looking for a unique, cool product with a collectible twist, the Ultimate Masters might be up your alley. And if it is, if it is for you, here are what the box toppers will look like along with their main set. We already covered all this. Really cool. Um, and, and, yeah, every card is going to be in the main set as well. There it is. Watsy officially has announced it. So now you guys know. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Are you happy with this? Is this just ridiculousness? Should this product even exist? I think it should. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on it. And by all means, please, uh, punch that like button. And if you're not subscribed, by all means, do. As always, guys, I'm Joey Moss, PLA.